Hi, welcome to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. In today's video, we're going to talk about nutrition. So we're going to get a little introduction into how to maintain a proper diet, what you're eating, what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, how much you should eat, etc. And we're going to especially look at the different types of nutrients that you should put into your body if you want to grow, if you want to maintain, if you want to lose weight, etc. So we're going to start with the basic process, okay? Eating, drinking, all these things. We're going to look at these two verbs, ingest and digest, okay? So when we're talking about nutrition, we're talking about what you're taking into your body. So when you ingest something, when you ingest nutrients, you are swallowing them or absorbing them. So swallow basically means chew and swallow, right? So chew is break down the food in your mouth and then you swallow it. You take it in and push it down into your stomach. You can also absorb nutrients. For example, we absorb vitamin D from the sun through our skin, okay? So you can absorb or swallow means you're ingesting your nutrients. In your stomach, your stomach produces juices. They're mostly acids that break down the food and separate it into its different components that can then be absorbed in the intestines. <clears throat> so the intestines are the long tubes that go back and forth from your stomach until they, the waste comes out. And inside, all the good nutrients get absorbed into the blood and pushed around to all the parts of the body that need them. <clears throat> so let's look specifically at the nutrients that you're going to need. Now, first thing you need to know about nutrients are, is that they are not synthesized naturally by the body. So the body produces a lot of the things it needs, but some things it just can't synthesize. It can't put together to create a new nutrient. So these nutrients need to be ingested. They need to be put into your body, basically, right? And we have carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals. And these are considered essential. <clears throat> you can live without carbohydrates, but you can't live without these nutrients, okay? So what are these? So carbohydrates, we call them carbs for short. These are the nutrients that provide your body energy especially for your brain, okay? They come from fruits and vegetables, uh, grains. So for example, bread, which comes from wheat or whatever other kind of grain, has a lot of carbohydrates. It comes from sugars and starches like uh, rice, etc. So all of these give your body a lot of energy. Now you also get energy from the other minerals, uh, from the other nutrients as well, but carbohydrates are a very good source. The problem is, they can also lead to weight gain if you don't control the intake, okay? We can also say intake oops, of nutrients. Basically means take in, intake, okay? So carbohydrates. Then we have proteins. Proteins are the nutrients that help create and build tissues and muscles in your body. So when a child is growing and getting bigger, it's the proteins that help create that growth. It's good from bones and muscles and tissues, etc. Proteins are made of amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. And there are many different types of amino acids. And these days you can take pills specifically with the am amino acids that you want for specific things. So nowadays you see a lot of guys or girls, big, big muscles, and you think, oh, steroids, right? Not necessarily. They could just be taking a lot of amino acids and exercising a lot and growing their muscles and looking much bigger. So proteins are basically the building blocks. Fats are the nutrients that store energy. So if you eat too many carbohydrates, the fats will store that energy as sugar, and that's why you get fat. That's why it's called, when a person is a little bit heavy, we sometimes say fat. It's a bit of a misleading word. But that's what happens. You're storing too much energy, right? And you have different types of fatty acids. Now, fats, as we said, they're essential. They're necessary nutrients, which means fat is not bad. You should eat fatty foods. But there are different types of fats 
and some of them you should absolutely avoid. So when we're talking about fats, we're talking about monounsaturated fats or polyunsaturated fats. These are the healthy fats, okay? They're in meat, they're in fish, they're in fruits and vegetables. You need these, okay? But again, you don't want to overdo anything. Saturated fats, like I'm not getting into the medical details of the difference between saturated and unsaturated. It's a, something about their bonds and the hydrogen uh, molecules. Don't worry about that. If you want to know, you can do some research. For now, th things like nuts and uh, certain oils and fish and avocado, etc. These are all good fats that you should take in, okay? What you should absolutely avoid are trans fats. Now, trans fats are fats that are basically a byproduct of a manufacturing process, okay? So they're a byproduct. Oops. So for example, when a company makes margarine or they make uh, baked goods in mass quantities like cookies or cakes and things like that, or chips or cooking oil. So if you're eating deep fried french fries, very, very unhealthy. These trans fats, they basically are the things that clog your arteries. So the veins, the, or sorry, the arteries, the tubes that come out of your heart with the blood, they get full of this, these fats and then the blood can't flow. And that's why people have a heart attack or other diseases because the blood is not flowing properly. So these are the ones you have to avoid. These are the ones that you want to get inside of you, okay? And then there are vitamins and minerals. Basically, these add or aid the functions of the body. They help control chemicals. They help create enzymes. They help different organs work properly, okay? Vitamins, we usually, when we're talking about vitamins, we're talking about like vitamin A, B, C, B12, D5, all different types of letters and numbers. Minerals are, have their own names, iron, zinc, magnesium, calcium, okay? These are all very important. You can easily take supplements. Now, if you don't get enough of these vitamins and minerals through your food, you can take pills or powders and make sure that you get enough of all of these vitamins and minerals to help your body function properly. If you're feeling a little bit tired, you're missing certain vitamins. If you're feeling a little bit heavy, you're missing certain uh, minerals. If your bones are weak, you need different minerals, etc. So all very, very important. Now, so now we know the basic idea of nutrients. Let's look at your diet, okay? Okay, so now we know what we're taking into our bodies, what we're ingesting, what we're digesting, etc. Now we need to think about the whole process, the whole thing as a big picture thing. Now, before I get into these words, you have to understand the number one rule of gaining weight or losing weight is not exercise. Exercise is very, very important, don't get me wrong. But if you want to lose weight or gain weight, it's all about <clears throat> the diet. It's all about what you take into your body, right? If you want to lose weight, you can go to the gym every single day, five hours a day and go on that treadmill and walk, 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 jog, jog, jog. But if you're eating McDonald's right after your workout, you're not going to lose any weight. Diet is more important than exercise if you want to change the way your body looks, okay? Now, let's talk about diet. What does diet mean? Unfortunately, these days, the word diet means to try to lose weight. But that's not what diet actually means. Diet means the things that you eat, basically. If you want to gain weight, you go on a diet. If you want to lose weight, you go on a diet. What does it mean to go on a diet? It means to control the food that's coming into your body. Now, it, more specifically, what are you trying to control? You're trying to control the calories. Okay, everything you eat has a, or drink, <clears throat> has a number of calories. Now, an average adult should get about 2,000 calories per day. Okay, that's a healthy average uh, calorie count for the day. If you're getting more than that, you risk gaining weight. If you're getting less than that, you're going to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, that's fine. If you want to gain weight, that's fine too. But diet is just the basically the system of eating that you have. And you can change that depending what you want from your body. Now, 
calories are basically energy units. It's measured in joules, but nobody actually uses the word joules, so I'm not going to worry about that now. Now, you should always watch your calorie count. Watch the calories you're taking in. Basically, it means be aware of. So some people use a calorie calculator, okay? A calorie calculator means every time they eat something, they punch in the number of calories in that meal. And then at the end of the day, they see how many calories they ate or drank. Make sure that you pay attention to food labels. Every time you go to the supermarket, every time you buy a packaged item of food, there's going to be on the side or somewhere on the package a label that tells you the components. What, how much, how many carbohydrates are you getting in grams? How many proteins? How many, which vitamins, which minerals? All this stuff. So make sure you pay attention to the label. It will also tell you how many calories you have in that food item. So make sure you understand that and you can control your calorie intake. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, peop some people have faster metabolisms than other people. The metabolism is the rate in which you burn energy. Okay? So if you're taking in all these calories, for some people, they will burn it very fast. So the calories don't stay in the body. They are not stored in the fat, right? Remember, fat stores energy. If you have a high rate of metabolism, you're going to burn that energy fat. There's nothing to store. You probably need more food. If you have a slow metabolism, you're going to store more. So you have to control very carefully what you eat. Don't forget to exercise. It is important, but also uh, diet is very important. Be careful how much sodium. Now, on these labels, on these food labels, you'll see how much sodium is in your food. Sodium is basically salt. Okay. They don't like to write salt because then people get scared when they see, oh my God, 40% of my daily intake is in this one package. <clears throat> so on these, you'll see percentage daily intake, basically how much should you take in every day? And if your package has 40%, don't buy this item. Don't eat it. It's very bad for you. Okay. Avoid it. Now, another problem with salt is that it retains water. The more salt you eat, the more water your body holds onto. And then we get on the scale, the numbers go up. So just eat less salt and your numbers will go back down a little bit. Make sure you eat a lot of fiber. Now, fiber, like things like celery or bran, certain grains, what, they, what fiber does is it helps the food pass through your body quicker. So you go to the washroom more regularly. You don't store things inside longer than you need to. Make sure you drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. A large majority of our body is made of water. Our body always needs water inside. Water helps with the digestion, with the metabolism, with everything. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Otherwise, you might also dehydrate. If you dehydrate, it means your body doesn't have enough water. Sometimes you'll get a headache. Sometimes you'll get dizzy and feel like passing out. You won't have enough energy. You'll feel sluggish and tired. Be careful about that. And always make sure that you give your body the rest that it needs. If you go to the gym and you're lifting weights, make sure that you give your body recovery time. If you're breaking muscles and tearing tissue because you're lifting weights, let the body fix the muscles, fix the tissues, so you always have enough energy and have enough strength to continue on. Now, First of all, before I, I finish this off, let me just say one thing. I am not a licensed nutritionist, okay? I am giving you an introduction to nutrition. I'm giving you an introduction to the language, the English language of nutrition. But if this is very important to you, and it should be, I want everybody to be healthy, energetic, happy. Make sure that you find out about all these things. Make sure you know what your body needs, what your body doesn't need. Maybe make an appointment with a nutritionist. So a person who's studied all of this th stuff and who knows exactly what's going on and can recommend a, a set diet for you that you can follow. Now, if you want to gain weight, go for it. If you want to lose weight, go for it too. If you want to gain weight, lots of carbs, lots of proteins. If you want to lose weight, less carbs, less proteins. Although proteins, you should always have a certain minimum anyway. So, I hope this is helpful. 
keep up the hard work. I mean, I go to the gym all the time. I watch what I eat now. You know, as you get older, you need to do these things. It's good for you. Do it. You'll be happy you're doing it. If you have any questions about this, please go to ingvid.com and ask me in the forum there. There's also a quiz. You can check your understanding of the language involved with nutrition. If you like this video, like it on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. And come back soon for some more interesting lessons. See you then.